everybody. This is Jim at SP500Chart.com using time modern techniques to understand modern markets, featuring daily technical analysis videos of the S&P 500 index. I uh, need to remind you that the website and this video are for educational purposes only, and uh, nothing stated uh, at the site or in this video is intended to be used as investment advice. I control lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I'm not a licensed professional uh, in the field of finance. I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. Okay, we're going to start off looking at a 10-minute chart, and I want to remind you that if I forget to tell you the uh, time frame of the chart, uh, see if you can find it up in the upper left-hand corner. It'll be in this little block right here, SP500. 10 minute. Um, made a bad call yesterday. I thought uh, we would bounce on this green line. Uh, instead, we did not. Today, we uh, traded uh, up a, to start with a little bit. And then it, uh, well, hold on. We actually bounced on that line, traded up a little bit, and then came right down and uh, and clearly went underneath it. Uh, however, uh, we are not going at the same rate of descent that we were starting uh, yesterday afternoon. So that, uh, that tells me that uh, we are either going to consolidate here uh, for more downward uh, uh, movement or possibly this is a little reversal. I cannot tell you uh, at this point in time. I can tell you by drawing this little line right here and what color do we want to make it let's make it orange if the uh, the S&P gets over this orange line at some point tomorrow then most likely uh, this um, movement from uh, the mid 1200s down to uh, today's uh, level of 1211 would be over <coughs> however uh, just the same, uh, if we trade lower, and let's make this line orange too, then uh, this right here, which is at about, uh, call it 12.09, then uh, the market will likely uh, bust on through 1,200 and make a go uh, probably about 11.96 uh, 1195 something like that so what where do I get that from well um, it looks like we have formed a triangle triangles can do uh, one of two things since they are a triangle and there is an apex uh, it is impossible for levels to remain in a triangle for very long so therefore they tend to serve as either a reversal pattern or as a continuation pattern and uh, what we'd look at probably in this pattern, more than likely measure the height from this spot right here. And uh, I'll tell you what, let's be safe. Let's not do that. Let's measure from the first place where we know we have a, a, a reaction off of one of these lines. And that would be from right here to this uh, point. So if... Um, if at some point tomorrow we get over that orange line, we can expect a move up of about 13 to 14 points. If we get uh, underneath this uh, bottom flat orange line, then like I said, we can expect a move to about uh, 1196 or so. Let me show you something that's kind of interesting that's going on here. And by the way, apologize. That was just a that was just a rotten call yesterday. It sure looked like this this guy wanted to bounce uh, on this green line, and uh, you know looked very promising, but was not to be. And uh, by the way, that red line moved a little bit. That's more like it should touch over here. So what I want to do now is uh, I want to back up to a really long term chart because this orange line right here is a little bit even more interesting uh, than you might realize. Uh, basically what I did is I was looking at today's action I said twice we found uh, support 
at uh, uh, roughly 12.09, and where was it exactly? 12.09 and, and change. Um, and I was asking myself, I wonder why that is, because a lot of times when you bounce and there's an obvious bounce at, at the same level, which we got twice today, um, a lot of times you, you'll do that on a line that, um, or in an area at a level that has some technical significance to it. So, but in order to find it, we've got to back way out to a three day chart. And basically what we find here is that this 12, low 1200 area has, has, uh, has been uh, support in the past. It's been resistance. It's also been a place where the market went up, up above it, then under it, then made a turn. Um, and it's kind of the center of gravity in, in where we've had our, uh, in where we've had a lot of our swings over the past uh, uh, number of months. What's even more interesting is if we draw a line from uh, the 2007 high across the highs of uh, this past spring and summer, and we also draw a line over the last two lows, major lows, uh, that being the summer of 2010 and the summer of 2011. Uh, I guess, yeah, that was that was summer, and yeah, that was still summer. Um, we find out that this orange line almost exactly is the apex between here. And here, and this is this is going, getting a little uh, maybe a little far afield, but I'm going to go there just the same. If we end up with either a triangle pattern that is developing off of this bottom from the March uh, 09 lows, um, and if it breaks out over this red line, then wherever that breaks out from, at whatever point that were to happen, whether it would be next week or whether it would be sometime in the middle of 2013 if the market just wants to go sideways for a long time here. Um, what I've done is I've measured again the, the height of the pattern from the first clear reactive move from top to bottom. And when I say reactive move that means a place where the, where the uh, uh, levels hit the line and then backed off and then hit the, the next the other line. We didn't do it here because we never did hit this line, okay? And since we started from below, um, I'm measuring that at this touch uh, rather than here. But just the same. This is also being uh, a, a bit more um, conservative. What's interesting is we know that from our measuring uh, uh, formulas, that you add that distance to wherever this uh, this guy may break out. So if it were to break out over this red line, at whatever point it breaks out, wherever this uh, light colored or pink line is, that should be the target. Uh, and just the same, if this blue line were to break, then we would be looking for this light blue line to be the target. And this is getting interesting because uh, uh, with the kind of volatility that we've been experiencing lately, you might you might uh, be thinking about the possibility that uh, that eventually, well, we know eventually one of these lines has to go, um, but y you don't know it may happen, uh, you know, in 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 a matter of months. I doubt it's going to happen in 2014. Uh, or even late 2013, it's probably going to happen, you know, one of these uh, probably within the next half year or so, I would say for sure. We're, uh, or well, maybe I shouldn't say half year, let's say three quarters of a year. I would think it is more, most likely that one of these lines will, uh, will give way. So the question is, which way it goes? Right now, it's, it's, I'm a little predisposed to think, again, that this blue line may be the one in jeopardy. No guarantees, however, 
that's just based upon the fact that this is looking more like a head and shoulders being formed here than it's looking like a really good solid um, a triangle. And if you'll remember, when we were up in this pattern right here, we were kind of looking at possibly the same thing, if you'll recall, where we didn't know until the uh, S&P traded down. Let's look at it on a daily chart so we can remind ourselves. We didn't know whether this was going to be a triangle here that formed from uh, 2011 for about, uh, what, uh, seven months, seven or eight months. If it had broken up over this red line, well, then we knew we were looking for something around 1480. But if it broke down underneath this line, then we knew we were looking for the mid-1100s or lower. Same thing goes with this big picture. If we get over the red line at some point well into the future, then, uh, then we're looking at a, at a go uh, for this uh, pink line, wherever it might be at the time this breaks. Uh, and just the same, if we break this blue line, then this becomes a big head and shoulders pattern, and the market will come down to the either the high 800s or uh, low 900s as a minimum target. For right now, however, let's let's go back to the five-minute chart. Just want to remind you again, looking at two orange lines, I'm looking at this one and this one. I believe if we get up over this orange line here, then uh, then the market should rally at, at, at least to come up and check out uh, this green line in the 1230s. If, however, this orange line breaks, then that should signal a move to the mid-1190s. And uh, like I said, we, we are inside this pattern right now. Which way it goes, I cannot tell you. I can tell you that uh, that when you have the break of a descending line, okay, which we did on this green line and on this red line, I can tell you that when you break a descending line to the downside, don't be fooled in thinking that that descending line is going to necessarily produce a lot of resistance. The more typical thing is when an ascending support line breaks, then it produces resistance descending support lines when they give way sometimes that's more the sign of of uh of capitulation and uh, panic selling and po potentially even a, a reversal of sorts so that's why i'm remaining neutral uh with tomorrow's call uh, but we're in a pretty tight range here between 1209 and roughly 1212 1214 so uh, with that little narrow range there there's not a lot of wiggle room before we uh, we know we should be looking uh, for something to the upside or more downside look thanks for watching the video if uh, you get a chance stop by sp500chart.com I'd, uh, I'd love for you to consider joining our forum we got some well-informed uh, folks doing some posting there and uh, not a lot of them. You don't have to wade through a lot of uh, garbage. Uh, almost every post is something of quality. So uh, check out sp500chart.com. If you're a uh, subscriber, thank you so much. If you're not, just think about it. It's not very expensive. Go by the website. Check out the details. Take care.